Hello to everyone. I have a project going on in the kitchen today that I'm rather excited about. So why don't y'all just come on into the kitchen, stop by and visit a while, and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here a few weeks back, I made a video on making muscadine juice, fresh muscadine juice. And today, I'm going to be making fresh scopanine juice. And this is, this is the scopanine right here. These are the bronze colored wild grapes. So let me show you where I'm at. I've been rinsing them. I've got almost all of them rinsed. I've got just a few here left. Let's put them, rinse them and put them in the colander where the water can drain off of them. I'm gonna show you the progress so far that I've got going on. Now, scopanines are hard to find just growing out in the woods wild. It's very hard to find those. They're not plentiful like the blue muscadines or the purple black muscadines. So it's hard to find them. Although I did find a vine just about a week ago and it had just about a handful of scopanines on it. So I'm gonna keep a watch on that vine. Okay, so this is our scopanines right there. Let's move right on over here and I'll show you what I got going on on the stove. Here's my big water bath canner and I've got my quart jars in there sterilizing. Then this little pan right here, I have my lids in there sterilizing plus this little, um, this little funnel is sterilizing in there as well. And this pot back here has my distilled water that I'm heating up to the boiling point that I'm going to use to pour into my jars over the muscadines. So this is where we're at so far. And I'll get back with you in just a minute after I get some other things set up here. I forgot, I wanted you to see the jars in the water bath canner. So let's get this over here where you can see that, maybe. That is the jars in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get those jars out. And once I get them out and set over here on this towel, then we can actually start putting, putting all of the ingredients in the jars. All right, here we go. We are ready for the next step. Let me turn this fan off. Okay, my hair is a bit of a mess because I've been out there picking them scuppernons and them vines are just grabbing my hair. But anyway, it's all right. Okay, so what I've got over here is I've got these jars and they have the scuppernons in them. And each jar has one eighth cup of sugar. And each jar has, each jar is about one third full one third of the way full with scuppernines. Okay, I've got two more jars to get out. I left two in the water bath canner just to show you the process. So let's get these two jars out. So what I do is I just, I sterilize my jars in the water bath canner. And then once I get everything, all of the ingredients in my jars, I just stick them right back in there and, uh, and, you know, give them, a, give them a water bath for 20 minutes. And so that makes it real simple to do it all in one pot. All right, so here's the two jars left, and I'll show you with these two jars what to do. Now, if, you're, if your device is not on full screen mode, you won't be able to see what I'm doing down below. So turn your device on full screen mode and it'll, it'll blow everything up where you can see everything that I'm doing here. I've had some people uh, text in, make comments that they can't see what I'm doing and it's because they need to put their device on full screen mode. All right, so here's our two jars. Now, we wanna put our scuppernines in first. I have taken each scuppernine and cut a slit in them like that, and that is to help the juice come out of the scuppernine and into the distilled water and make the grape juice. So that's why I have done that. All right, so we're going to, you can't see my bowl of scuppernines, but here they are. 
going to put some in these jars here. Like I said, about one third full. Okay. Okay, we've got that. Now we want to put one one eighth cup of sugar in next. So here we go right here. All right, now our jars are ready for the boiling distilled water, which I have back over in this pot right over here. <clears throat> so we're going to start filling these jars up with the boiling water. Here's my funnel. This was my Granny Cochran's funnel. This is a this is a vintage metal funnel, and it was passed down to me from my granny. And so, I think about Granny whenever I'm using it, doing stuff like this. Granny would be proud of me if she knew I was doing this, but she's already an angel in heaven. But maybe God will let her look down and see me doing some of these things. I know that. Uh, in the Bible, it says that there is a great crowd of witnesses, and that may possibly mean that, that some of our loved ones can maybe look down and see, see what's going on, see their loved ones here on earth, maybe see when one of the, their loved ones, one of their children, maybe that they've prayed for, and that child was not saved when the mother or father died, but they got saved after they died. And I wonder if sometimes maybe God will let, let mothers and fathers who are already in heaven see those things. Okay, we're just filling these jars up with this boiling distilled water. And I better go to putting some lids on it. So I'll just kind of show you the process here. And then I'll turn the I'll turn the video off while I fill up the rest of them. Let me get a little spoon here. Got a little bit. No, no, I don't. I thought I had too much water in that one. We're okay. So you just want to wipe the rim off. And let's get our lids. Our lids are in this little pan right here. This is my little magnet. Get the lids out. Let's put them on over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I got my, got my camera all out of whack there. Okay, so put a lid on. Put a ring on. And you just want to hand tighten it. You don't have to just bear down on it and tighten it really 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 strong just just hand tighten so we'll hold it with this towel because it's hot just make sure that's nice and snug okay and then we want to put it back in the water bath canner right over here okay and we're going to have to dip out some of this water because now we're going to have too much water in the water bag canner because all of the water that was in the jars I poured in here. So some of this water's got to come out or it's going to overflow. So let me dip some of it out. And so this is the process and I'm not going to run the video while I do all of these, I'm just giving you an example, showing you how to do it. And then I'll turn the video off. And then I will come back on in just a little bit and show you how to, you know, give them the water bath and how long that they have to stay in there and everything. So here's this one. We'll put this one in. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I've almost got all of my jars filled with the distilled water. So here we are, I've got two left. Now, when you're filling them with water, you want to leave one eighth to one fourth inch 
space at the top of the jar. And also, I have, I'm putting one eighth cup of sugar in each one of these jars, whereas I put one fourth cup of sugar when I was making the muscadine juice, because the muscadines, they were, they were sour, so I put more sugar in those. But now these, these stephanons, they're not sour, so they're not going to need as much sugar. All right, let's finish this up. Once I get these two jars finished, we're going to roll them down into that water bath canner. And we're going to give them a water bath. We're going to give them a water bath for 20 minutes. Okay, I got a little too much water in this one. Get just a little bit of it out. Okay, there we go. And I still have a lot of scuppernons left that I picked today. So probably what I'm going to do with them is make scuppernon jelly here in the future, not today. All right, here's our last jar. Let's get these in the canner. And if you've never had scuppernon jelly, wow, that stuff's good. And the muscadine jelly is very, very good too. Okay, we've got them in there. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have to let that water come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we will let it, uh, we'll let it boil. We'll let the jars boil there in the water for 20 minutes. And that will, then we'll pull them out and then the jars will seal. And we'll set it on, on the shelf for about two months. And then we'll pull it out drain it off, drain the grapes off, and then we'll have our grape juice. All right, I'm getting the jars out of the water bath canner. So what you want to do now is just put them on your counter and let them set for 24 hours on your counter. And you want to label them and date them. And then after 24 hours you can put them you can put them in storage in a dark cool place okay glad y'all came by and visited for a while and i'll be back on here real soon with another great video recipe